And hey there, I'm Animated Josiah because the real Josiah is behind the camera shooting right now. I'll be your guide today and narrate this video while the real Josiah gives you directions from behind the camera. Let's get going. We're here at Moonstone Manor in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania for Rob and Sarah's wedding. We always begin our day photographing the bride's details. Steph takes care of the invites, rings, shoes, and jewelry, and sets them up in a beautiful flat lay style, typically on a clean or aesthetically pleasing background. This marble table worked really nicely. It's important to find a space with a lot of soft, natural light to avoid those harsh shadows. We typically start our day like this because it allows us to get into the rhythm of the day, gets our minds flowing with creativity, and it's just fun, and it produces some really beautiful images for blog posts and publication. While Steph photographs the bride's details, I can be found photographing the wedding dress. This was the room the dress was already hanging in, and actually has a line hanging from the ceiling specifically for the dress. What I hate about this room is the purple pink walls. I'm also trying to avoid the little bit of mess in the windowsill to my left. I wasn't 100% happy with this photo, so before we got Sarah in her dress, I actually took one last dress shot downstairs in the room where Steph was photographing the details. The natural light looks much better than the on-camera flash. After that, we start photographing the getting ready process, the hair, the makeup, and people hanging out. We did hit a little bit of rain, so we had to shift some things around, and we actually pushed groomsmen photos up before the first look. Soft smile? Yeah, soft smile. What's, what's the soft smile? I want to see. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You know, I like, I like the soft smile. Now, give me big smiles, guys. Big smiles. All right. Ready? One, two, three. One way to win over the bridal party is to joke around with them. Don't be afraid to get goofy or silly with them. Don't take yourself too seriously either. I sometimes try and mold my personality or energy to the group's energy. If I can feel like a natural part of the friend group, then it'll help the comfortability of those I'm photographing. And if you want to make fun of Rob, now is your chance. Now is your chance. You can laugh at him, you can make fun of his face, you can make fun of his whatever you want to make fun of him. I for I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you can make fun of the best man if you want to do that too, that's cool. Don't forget to continue laughing with them and encouraging them. Never go silent for more than a few seconds. If the energy of the group is negative, stay positive and keep things lighthearted. They'll feed off of your good energy, I promise. Hey, I want, um, Rob, can I have you come and stand just right here for me? Hey, everyone just admire the back of Rob's head for a second, all right? Look at that. <laughs> and get the uh, RJ is in love with me. <laughs> Big smiles right here. One, two, three. We're using an off camera flash to my right as the key light. The window behind them is the prettiest backdrop, but it's also the room's key light source. So we need to create a new key light source, aka our flash. Hey, everybody, look at each other, smile with each other, laugh with each other. That's great. I'm also bouncing this flash onto the ceiling to soften and diffuse the light. Essentially, acting like a large softbox to create beautifully lit skin. Oh, so pretty. We've now moved Sarah closer to the window for some softer light as her mom and sister button her dress. Steph is shooting from behind and using the off-camera flash still as her main light source. I always try and have my brides look over their shoulder towards whoever is helping them into the dress. Even if the brides can't see them 100%, it still gives the appearance of the interaction and creates a beautiful, candid portrait. I smile when you do that, all right? There you go. I know you're looking, you're so focused. <laughs> Rob, take a tiny step to your left. Right there is great. Sarah, let me bring you right under this arch here, okay? okay. Are you okay without the umbrella for a few minutes? Um, How do you feel? Do you want to hang on to it? My hair is really finicky. Okay. So I don't really care. Can, I think it'd be kind of cool. Yeah, we'll you can hang on to it. Yeah. 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 You, want you can it? hang on to it. Can we uh, take your flowers from you then? Yes. Just so you can give them a hug and that sort yes. of thing? All right. Let me take these here and you know what? We, uh, yeah, we're going to hand this off to... Okay. Hey, Drew. You're my like, right-hand man today. 
because I know you and I feel like I can put you through that. Yeah, just hang out of those for a few minutes. You're gonna tell him whenever we're ready and you're ready yeah. to turn around. Okay. And then you guys can come meet in the middle and embrace uh, and just kind of chat with each other, okay? For as I long mean, as you I'm need ready. to. I was born ready. Step right here. <laughs> you were born ready. I was born ready. <laughs> All right, Steph, you good? Yeah, I'm good. You can tell him to turn around whenever you're ready. The first look is something we really encourage because it takes away stress and makes our jobs easier. Our couples also get more portraits and more time together. Definitely encourage your couples to share in a first look. 90% of the time, this is how we shoot first looks. Place the bride 10 feet behind the groom. When she's ready, she tells the groom to turn around and then they have their moment. Don't rush the moment, let them be together. Once they give you the go ahead, you can jump into portraits. I also like to include some of the bride in the foreground of my first look groom reaction photos to give context to what he's looking at. Just my two cents. You guys ready for some pictures? Yeah. We'll knock this out real quick. Yeah. It's okay for right now. We'll do a few with okay. the umbrella. We'll do a few without. Yeah. Is that okay? That sounds great. Cool. Yeah. I want you to come right next to Rob's side here, okay? Whew. All right. Okay. And just swing this back behind you. That was actually a pretty good toss for one hand. That was pretty good. Well done, dude. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. I want to angle this. Mm -hmm. this way All right. Right there is good. All right. Looking right at me. Yeah. Don't look at her. Okay. All right. Don't look at me. Those are the rules. All right, ready guys? One, two, three. Look at each other. Bring those noses real close together for me. It's all coming right back to you now. You know what? Can I have you hand the umbrella to Rob for me? Yeah. I would like to see what that looks like. Drew, can I have those flowers? It's weird holding it. It's like a weird, yes. All right, here you go. Ready? Thank you. Yeah, you can't catch that. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, come uh, bring it down a little bit lower. Yeah. Perfect. And point it forward a little bit. Right there. Awesome, guys. That looks amazing. Look at each other again. Beautiful, guys. Bring those noses close. Beautiful. Rob, can I have you bring the umbrella that way just a little yeah. bit? Yep. There you go. Noses together again. It was just blocking your faces a bit. Perfect, guys. Keep doing that. That looks great. Your flowers are amazing. You guys look amazing. Can you guys share a kiss right there? Perfect, y'all. Yep. Look up. Look over her, Rob, for me. All right, yeah. Rob. Look over at Sarah there. Sarah, looking right here. That's great, Rob. You remember when I, when I say nuzzle? What that means? Yeah. It's been a while. Yep. That's perfect. And uh, I want you to whisper in her ear. Um, I want you to whisper her favorite cereal. <laughs> Was he right? No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a few without the umbrella here just for a minute, okay? okay. Can I have you guys come chest to chest, face each other? Yes. All right, that's perfect. That's for Sarah, bring the, the flowers down just a little bit. It's, it's amazing how much light that umbrella blocks out. Beautiful, guys. Steph, take a tiny step to your left for just a minute. No, you're, you're good right there. Perfect, noses together, guys. Perfect, kiss her on the forehead for me. Y'all, that is beautiful, hold that for a second. Step, you can come back in a little bit if you need to. Noses together again, guys. We're moving extra fast, okay, just because of the, the water falling from the sky, okay? Sarah, look over at me again. Perfect, yes, nozzle in. You did it without me telling you to do it. Perfect, this time I want you to speak French in her ear. You might not speak French, but I want you to try. <laughs> Look at each other again, guys. Share a kiss right there. I got a big wide. Or, give her the umbrella back. <laughs> I know it like it like it like scoots up. Hey, can I have you guys hold hands and walk towards me in just a second? I'll tell you when to go, okay? <laughs> and if you're feeling like it's getting a little too wet, just you can walk right in if you want to, okay? All right, look at each other the whole time, okay, guys? Ready, set, walk towards me. Perfect. Awesome, guys. Hey, I want you to just walk right inside, okay? Because it's getting heavy. Okay. Yep. Go for it. Keep on going, stuff. Hang. Oh, this is like magic right here. Perfect. Keep on looking here. Yeah, Sarah, look over at Rob for me. Rob, keep looking here. You're doing great, man. Biggest smile, man. I've seen you smile bigger than that. 
There you go, man. Love that. I'm going to come in a little closer, okay? Look over at Sarah for me. Sarah looking right here this oh time. Now you can look back at him. There you go. That's cute, guys. Uh, is Rob ticklish? Did we figure that out at the engagement yeah. session? He is. You can tickle him a little bit. Oh, not a lot. <laughs> That's cute, guys. Look over at Rob now. Look over at Sarah, Rob. Can you guys bring noses close together again? That's sweet. Can you guys bring foreheads together too? Perfect. Love that. And just, yeah, just breathe each other in for a little bit. On three, I want you guys to open your eyes. All right, look at each other and say, I love you, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready, one, two, three. It's impossible not to smile after you say those words. So, for sure, kiss right there, guys. Beautiful, love that. Noses together again. Sarah, look over at Steph for me. Over there, Rob nuzzling a bit. That's cute. Sarah, over at me now. Is she ticklish, Rob? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you can tickle her a little bit. Oh, your hands in the pocket. Bring it around her waist for me. It's less of a surprise like the, now. There the you go. <laughs> is it hard to tickle through the dress? Yes. I feel like it probably is. Yeah. Like yeah. Keep holding that. Sarah, eyes to me. Woo. Yeah, there it is. You can smile big again. It's good. I know you're trying to hold that model face down. <laughs> That's cute, guys. Kiss her on the temple for me, Rob. Perfect. Love that. Y'all are just killing this. Awesome. You guys can relax? It has stopped raining. Did this dry up already too? It looks like it's basically yeah. very close, yeah. It's so humid that it's it just is humid. evaporating. Guys, love that. Look at each other. Bring those noses close. Perfect. Share a kiss and dip her backwards just a little bit, Rob. Hey, sis Steph, to your right. Beautiful, guys. You guys can relax right there. <laughs> what do you do with your hands? What do I do with my hands? You, you can left over right or throw it in the pocket. All right. Either one's good with me. All right. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you. Holy cow. Nope, gotta keep going. All right, there we go. All right, guys, big smiles right here. Ready? One, two, three. Steph, can I have you scoot to your left? It's okay. Ready? One, two, three. Rob and Sarah look at each other. Share a kiss right there. Everybody looking at them. That's cute, guys. Love that. They squeeze in real close, all right? You look gorgeous. Squeeze in real close. That's perfect. <laughs> all right, Lee. Angled in is good. Yep, angled is good. All your flowers are at the perfect level. That's great. All right, I'm gonna back up again here. All right, everyone looking right at me. Ready, one, two, three. Perfect. Hey, Sarah, can I have you angle in towards Cat a little bit? Right there, perfect. And ready, one, two, three. Everybody look at Sarah. Sarah, look over at uh, your sister there. Beautiful, I'm gonna come in a little closer. Keep looking at each other. If you wanna make fun of Sarah, you can make fun of Sarah. You wanna make fun of... You want to make fun of Catherine? You can make fun of Catherine. What <laughs> Beautiful guys. Awesome. Um, how wet is this grass here? Probably a little too wet to walk on, right? Yeah. Can I, uh, Sarah, I'm going to just grab your dress here real quick. Sarah, I want you to back up, okay? All the way to the edge. I think I got all your dress here. Right there is good. Perfect. Ladies, I want you to I want you to back up here as well. Just get in line with her, all right? Yeah. All right. This is gonna be weird, all right? I want you to link arms, okay? And normally we do a walking shot because the grass is so wet. We're not gonna go in the grass. You're just gonna kind of like yeah, okay. back and forth, okay? Okay. And try not to fall over because I'm like we're, we're shifting. Looking at each other. Yep. Ready? Go ahead. Rock back and forth. Is that ridiculously hard? Are you guys falling over already? It looks like you're actually walking. I'm actually really impressed. Good job, guys. Perfect, guys. Sarah over at me here. 
Perfect. We're at the ceremony now. Always be on the lookout for the candids of people laughing, smiling, and interacting with each other. This is a fairly tough location for a ceremony because of the backlight when people come down the aisle. I don't like using flash often, especially not during ceremonies. It probably would have been helpful to have a flash to fill in some light on their faces as they came down the aisle, but I did want to be as invisible as possible. As the bride comes down the aisle, I typically switch between her and the groom's reaction. In hindsight, I also should have taken a photo of his parents across from me, but in the moment, I wasn't thinking about it. I was only thinking of the bride and groom. And that's why hindsight is 2020, right? Whether you're a new wedding photographer or you've been doing this for a while, it's important to anticipate what's going to happen before it actually does. I know that the father of the bride is going to kiss his daughter and either hug and shake hands with the groom. It's an interaction I need to capture. Anticipate those moments of the ceremony and learn from them so that you're always ready to capture those major events. If there is a schedule for the ceremony somewhere, take a quick glance at that and it'll help you determine when certain moments might be occurring. Other than that, shoot around, look for new angles, try and capture both of their emotions, and just have a little bit of fun. It's one of those moments during the day where you can just kind of relax and take a step back. You're not directing, but make sure you get that kiss shot at the end. And pro tip, tell the bride and groom beforehand to kiss and count to three or to five. That should give you a long enough time to, uh, to get that kiss shot. reception and I want to talk about my reception flash setup real quick because it's daytime and we're out in a tent. Uh, I don't have to really worry about the light disappearing all that much because all the events are up front. It'll be light out until all the events are done. Uh, so because we have the natural light spilling into the tent, we've only set up two flashes and we're using them as key lights. Uh, so I'll show you those real quick. One there. Those two key lights should be enough to uh, to light our subjects, to light the bride and groom, the bridal party coming in, uh, the toasts, all that good stuff. And we're bouncing, I'm pointing it up and bouncing off of the tent uh, so that it's a, it's a soft light, no harsh shadows, nothing like that. So that's how we're shooting this reception tonight. Let's make some noise for Mr. and Mrs. Robert Bikini. Show them the love. Now we're into the first dance, parent dances, that sort of thing. And one of my favorite lenses to use is the 70 to 200. We shoot Sony, but we also use our Canon lenses before we switched. Uh, the 70 to 200 is an amazing lens and it allows me to get close-ups of the bride and groom while they're dancing. I also love using off-camera flash because it allows me to move around to anywhere within the reception space to get those amazing shots using depth creating foreground layers with people or tables in the background, but then I can also go and stand by the flash and get some really clean images uh, by the flash. And it's obviously it's bouncing up at the tent, creating that soft diffused light source. And uh, that's that's kind of how I shoot. I have the 70 to 200 and Steph uses the 24 to 70. All of our bases are covered. The reception is the ultimate place to get those candid photos that the bride and groom want. Our most requested photo type is those candid moments, and this is the time and place for it. For the cake cutting, we are bouncing again off of the ceiling to create that soft light source, and uh, they smash cake in each other's faces, which is totally awesome. 
Uh, so just be on the lookout, be ready to shoot, be quick. I probably should have panned over to the parents laughing and clapping and smiling at their at their kids slamming cake in each other's faces. But be on the lookout, shoot quick, shoot fast, be ready for anything. That's it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something uh, watching this video. Leave it in the comments below. What was the biggest takeaway from this video? I would love to know what you learned. Uh, other than that, I got some more videos coming your way pretty soon. And I am so thankful you guys are supporting me. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button below. Maybe hit the like button as well. And maybe share with a friend who might find this content valuable. And I will see you guys in the next video.